Good morning, Stewart's Chapel. This is Brother Don Pearson. This is Saturday's devotion. I don't anticipate that this devotion to be very long. I want to pick up where we were yesterday about God's judgment and a loss of their virginity, of their purity. Verses 4, 5, and 6, 6 of chapter 5. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live. Do not seek Bethel. Do not enter Gilgal. Do not pass over to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it with no one to quench it in Bethel. Bethel and Gilgal were, were the two places, one, two places of the golden calves, two places of worship. Bethel was also the political realm. We just saw where God declares judgment because of their loss of purity of turning to other gods. Now God says, seek me and live. Now, you need to understand, He is not reversing His judgment. He is not saying that the thousand will live. He's saying if they don't seek Him, then there will not even be a remnant that shall live. If they do not seek Him, that 100 out of 1,000 will not survive. If they do not seek Him, that 10 out of 100 will not survive. The key word is in verse 6 where it says, and devour it. That, that the message or the language there is that he will devour all of it. There will be nothing left if they do not seek him. Have you ever seen an individual who comes to God and, and they almost anticipate that they're coming to God, that, that their discipline and judgment and situation will just go away? It doesn't work that way, my friend. The consequences of sin continue with us. Sometimes coming to God is not so much about our situation changing, but it is the changing of our children or our grandchildren or our great-grandchildren. The leaving of a remnant. Seek God and live. I asked Don to film this in this area. This shot is different than others. It's, it's upward. It's, it's a longer shot. But I wanted the cross to be in the way. I wanted you to see the straight and narrow path, a stairway, a, an act of humbling yourself. There's nowhere else to go when you come up this direction. You end up at the cross. I encourage you to seek Jesus and live. Now understand this message is not to the lost. Do you hear me? This message was so that a remnant of God's people would survive. I wonder. I don't know what God's doing in America. But it'd be interesting if a remnant will live. Love you, Stewart's Chapel.